I already love this meme. It makes me laugh and cry a little bit all at the same time. It says entrepreneurs being their own boss and it shows a dog leading itself. No human to be found. This is kind of a perfect microcosm for the life of an entrepreneur, am I right? Because you and you alone are responsible for showing up and just knowing what to do. And there's definitely an accountability that comes with this lifestyle we've chosen. But honestly, I wouldn't trade it for the world, even when you're not sure the next step to take. I'm Marisa Murgatroyd, and sometimes I still can't believe what I've been able to accomplish even after my dad told me that I had no marketable skills and that he wasted $150,000 on my college education. Well, I proved him wrong. Because here's the thing, I've got a calling in this life that wasn't a part of my dad's plan for me. That calling to empower people who have a gift and a dream to launch and grow their business so they can have the impact and income they desire. And over the last 12 years and beyond, I've been able to inspire over 12,000 students to take over 500,000 hours of life-changing action while generating over $40 million in online course and program sales for my own business. And one of the biggest lessons I've learned over the past 12 years is to treat your business like a game. You heard me right. Because when you stop taking everything so gosh darn seriously in your business and you start to have fun, you'll unlock creativity that you didn't even know you had while being happy to show up every day. So let's have a little bit of fun right now, if you're okay with that, with these 10 relatable business memes. I'll also give you an actionable takeaway for each one of them that you can apply right now to help you on your entrepreneurial journey. So if that sounds good, let's get to it. But first, just go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, because I got a lot more videos like this one coming up. All right, this one's pretty perfect, especially in today's online world. It says, if you're not using ChatGPT for every aspect of your life, you're falling behind. I spent 20 minutes using ChatGPT to do something that would take one minute with Google. Here's how I did it, and here's how you can too. I'm a big fan of ChatGPT, but sometimes a quick Google search will do the trick and save you a massive headache. I know from personal experience that you can't always trust what the robots give you. I am Marisa Tron. I am better than Marisa. I eat Marisa for breakfast. So double check absolutely everything or just head to Google in the first place. All right, I'm not really up on pop culture at all, but even I know about the Barbenheimer craze. Here you have Barbie and you've got Oppenheimer shaking hands and it says, when you partner with your competition, the massive success of both films that opened on the exact same day holds a powerful lesson for entrepreneurs. And that's to stop worrying so much about what your competition is doing. Because you have unique value, you have a unique message, and you have a unique offer. And when you focus more on what your audience needs and what you can deliver and less on your competition and what everybody else is doing, you'll build a fulfilling and long lasting business. As the saying goes, if you try to appeal to everyone, you'll end up appealing to no one. So focus on appealing to your perfect people and don't be afraid to turn everybody else off. All right, let's see what we got in this one. I can't stop laughing at this one. It's just too good and so very accurate, it hurts. So we've got this drawing of a horse. Now the tail end, which looks like a professional artist drew it, is the business proposal in your head. And the rest of the horse, it kind of looks like a kid's drawing. Well, that's your business proposal after the first draft. Who can relate? You've got this idea that's fully mapped out in your head and you can't wait to put it on paper because it's just so freaking good. But then when you actually do put it on paper, it kind of flat out sucks. Well, don't worry because it happens to the best of us, which is why I live by this motto, iterating your way to awesome. Because if you just keep at it, keep iterating and iterating and iterating until you get there, you got this. All right, what do we got? <laughs> All right, if you're anything like me, a semi-recovering perfectionist, this just might be the most relatable meme ever. So you're trying to get to the next level 
in your business, but that pesky perfectionism, it just keeps holding you back. But here's the thing, progress beats perfectionism any day. So ship your creativity out the door as often as possible, as quickly as possible. Don't hoard it because the more you ship, the more you build your audience and ultimately the more you earn. But so often we spend so much time editing and editing and editing our creations that we don't put nearly enough out into the world. But the truth is you can't edit life. You can't pause. You can't rewind. You just live. In business, it's the same way. So just ship it. Counting sheep, listening to the Calm app, drinking warm milk, or maybe even taking a shot of whiskey. <sighs> Nothing seems to work to put your mind at ease, am I right? There's always something you could be doing to grow your business. And self-doubt definitely creeps in when we're trying to calm our minds and get some rest. But you won't be the best for your business if you don't shut down at the end of each day. Which is why I definitely recommend establishing a shutdown routine that'll give your mind a little space back and allow your brain time to recharge. It could be writing a list of anything you weren't able to get done, so it's just off your mental plate and onto the page. Maybe it's opening up a document to start writing into the very next day so you can hit the ground running without any resistance along the way. Whatever you need to do to let go of the day and feel free to enjoy the rest of your evening and get some much needed. Also, as you grow and scale your business, it's important to remember that everyone has worries that keep them up at night wide awake, including your audience and your employees. You want to treat the people in your life with grace and understanding. Don't ever think that your worries are more important than somebody else's just because you're an entrepreneur. Staying humble will get you far. This one actually looks familiar. I've seen this Spider-Man pointing meme everywhere, but this one may be the best one yet. So many entrepreneurs start flying solo in their business, so they take full responsibility for every single task every creative decision, every administrative decision, everything. But when you get to a place where you're starting to see big payoffs in audience growth and impact and income, doing everything on your own is probably the worst possible thing you could do. I know because I've been there myself. It took me years to learn how to step back and let my team members take over day-to-day -day tasks and also whole areas of responsibility at Live Your Message and I'm still in the process of letting go. Now, one of the ways I got there was asking myself this one simple question. How do I replace myself? That question gave me the clarity and confidence I needed to create new systems and processes and hire great team members so I don't need to feel like I got the whole weight of the world and the company on my shoulders. Something else to keep in mind. Sometimes feeling like you need to be fully immersed in the granular details of your business could be an ego thing. The truth is, it's hard to come to terms with the idea that not everything has to pass through you. And it's even harder to exercise your inner control freak, which you needed to achieve success in the first place. It takes deep humility and courage to let others take care of the things you don't need to so you can focus on your superpower, whatever that happens to be. It's all part of being an ambitious and successful entrepreneur. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> if you've ever felt those beads of sweat on your brow or woken up in a puddle of sweat thinking, oh shit, did I make a huge mistake giving up my nine to five life? You're definitely not alone. Being an entrepreneur is freaking hard maybe the hardest thing you'll ever do, but it's also the most rewarding. So don't give up. You may feel tired or overwhelmed or need to ask for help or take a brief step away, but it could also signal a more critical issue that you're not building the right business for you. The truth is that there are three paths you can follow to start a business and only one, just one, leads to purpose, passion, profit, and play. So if you're worried you may have followed the wrong path, don't, because I've got a free 60-minute masterclass on how to discover the business you're truly meant to build 
and share it with the world. Grab your spot at startwithyou.com forward slash masterclass. I've also dropped the link in the description of this video. All right, who's this? That's Penny from the Big Bang Theory. All right, I've been a little busy living this 24 seven entrepreneur life and I've gotten way behind on keeping up with TV. Well, except for Ted Lasso, but I almost gave up on that one too because let's be honest, it kinda sucked after season one. Don't hate, I said what I said. Anyway, back to this meme. If you've survived a live launch, this one hits extra, extra hard because the hard truth is that you cannot build a successful business all alone. You need help and lots of it. From your inner core of friends and family, to the personal support to keep you happy and healthy so you can be a good leader to your clients and your team and yourself. So don't go it all alone. Seek out the support you need to make your business dreams happen and drop the people in your life who don't support who you are becoming. Oh yeah, all right, guilty confession. I do know who SpongeBob actually is and I love this one. You got SpongeBob giving a high five to what I think is a lobster, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But the meme says, when you reach product market fit after years in the making, yes, this is definitely something to celebrate because when the floodgates open and your customers start voting with their wallets in droves, you know you're really onto something. But when the opposite happens, when you pour your blood, sweat, and tears into an online course or a product or a launch only to not get the results you expected, you might ask yourself, where did I go wrong? Why didn't more people sign up? How can I make things better? I experienced this when I was first starting out and it took years before I found the answers. But when I did, I started to notice a steady rise in customers in revenue from my online courses and programs and everything changed for me. In the last 12 years, I've seen millions of dollars flow into my business because of my products. And I can't tell you how honored, blessed and grateful I am. So I want you to know that no matter where you are in your business right now, you can start to create significant income with your online products, programs, and courses. You just need to know how to create the right product at the right time for your business and avoid the wrong products. But luckily, I've got a guide for you on how to choose the right product for the right market at the right time to open the income and impact floodgates. I've dropped that link in the description. So there you have it, 10 of the most relatable memes for entrepreneurs. Which ones were your favorite? Did any miss the mark? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, I may turn it into a series. So show me some love and go ahead, give me a little like, a little comment, a little share, and subscribe. And if you want my latest can't miss business building content delivered monthly to your inbox, no frantic searching required, then get on my list at liveyourmessage.com forward slash subscribe or click the link in the description. I only send actionable stuff, zero fluff. So be sure to get on my list and share this with your friends. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you in the next video. Check out Don't Follow Your Passion, Do This Instead, and Six Signs You'll Succeed as an Entrepreneur. Now go out there and live your message.